This short video explains gram staining, and also shows some examples of stained organisms. Firstly, what is the gram stain, and what does it allow us to differentiate between? The gram stain is a differential staining procedure, it is used, to broadly categorize bacteria as either gram positive or gram negative. Bacteria are differentiated through a series of staining and decolorization steps. Staining differences, are as a result of differences in the chemical and physical properties of the cell walls, for gram-positive or gram-negative organisms. Preparing slides for gram staining. The loop flaming procedure. To do this correctly, you will need to use a blue Bunsen flame. It is important not to rapidly heat the loop with bacterial culture on it. This can create bacterial aerosols. Remember, always cool the loop down before touching the plate. Here is why safety advice should be carefully followed. If you have a plate with a culture growing on it, and you then take a loop that is far too hot, the media and culture will boil on contact, releasing an aerosol. This could potentially be inhaled, and cause illness. Taking cells from the culture, first, pick a colony using a sterile loop, then, Mix the cells with a drop of distilled, sterile water on a glass slide. Allow the slide with the cells and water, to air dry. Finally, pass the glass slide through a, blue Bunsen flame. Do this two or three times to heat fix the cells to the slide. Remember, do not overheat the slide, this can alter the cells and affect the staining. The Gram Staining Procedure this is a visual representation of the steps involved, after heat fixing the cells to the slide, using a blue Bunsen flame. Flood the slides with crystal violet solution. After a minute, wash the crystal violet off with distilled water. Then, flood the slides with iodine solution. After one minute, wash the iodine solution off with distilled water. Next, rinse alcohol down the slides, do this until the wash runs colorless. Wash the slides once again using distilled water. Finally flood the slides with carbol fushin. After one minute, wash the carbol fushin off and blot the slides dry with tissue paper. Here is why the gram positive and gram negative cells stain differently. Consider the two cell types here. Gram positive, and gram negative. While both have plasma membranes, only the gram-negative cells have an outer membrane. While both gram-negative and gram-positive have peptidoglycan cell walls. In the gram-negative, this is much smaller than in gram-positive organisms. The thicker peptidoglycan layer in the gram-positive organisms retains the crystal violet complex of the gram stain. However, the crystal violet iodine complex is washed out of the thinner peptidoglycan layer of the gram-negative organisms. This occurs during the decolorizing stage. The decolorized gram-negative cells are counter-stained with carbol fushin. This is why gram-positive organisms appear purple after staining, and gram-negative appear pink. Viewing the stain slides. This will need to be carried out using oil immersion. Take note of the oil immersion lens, this is marked with 100x and oil. When viewing the cells, focus on the edge of the smear when the cells are spread out. Here are some examples of gram stains for the following species. In addition to observing gram staining for each species, the cell shape for each can also be seen using oil immersion at 100 times objective magnification. For these species, the cells will either be cocci or basili. The following are the results of gram staining. Three options are given, followed by the correct answer. E. coli are gram negative bacilli. B. subtilis are gram-positive bacilli.
Pseudomomas are gram negative bacilli. S. aureus are gram positive cocci. Thank you for listening, and I hope this short video on gram staining has helped.